Hey guys, it's me, it's your best friend, it's Carbot. Before I get started with the reason why I'm making this video, as you can see by the title, my original art style, I wanted to give a little backstory. The first time I ever drew a simplified, kind of cutesy, the Carbot style was actually when I started Carbot Animation. It was, a, it was a new style for me, and it's funny because now that's what I'm known for, and I never did it prior to that. So I kind of, I would say I got really lucky. Um, I did look at other people's styles and, and tried to create this new style that I never did before in, in my artistic endeavor. Um, and it and ended up working out and I'm really, really happy that it did. And I'm really glad you guys love it so much. And uh, I will always be happy that I, I pursued that. Um, however, uh, it wasn't my original art style. Two years ago, my wife, wife bought, Justine bought me an iPad Pro because she said, she she was she told me you need to you're you're drawing carbot st the carbot style so much but you also I feel like you need to keep doing your old style like illustrating um and and not lose that skill and improve it actually uh and yeah I kind of miss doing it I mean I would always keep doing obviously carbot I mean we're not, this isn't any announcement to say ah it's gone uh, we're always gonna keep doing the cartoons and stuff but uh, just on my own spare time. I'm always animating, but I'm not illustrating. And so on my own spare time, I I was I really wanted I agreed with her. I wanted to to illustrate again. I wanted to just draw, you know, what I used to draw. And that is this kind of dark medieval fantasy, which is a, a kind of a genre I I really really love. I've I've a huge passion for. And I actually we do a a, a sort of, not it's not Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it's it's our own RPG system. Uh, but me and my friends we do we do that all, uh, pretty often. Um, and uh, I, I love it. I love it so much. So uh, the drawing that you're seeing here is actually the Necromancer from the Diablo franchise. I say franchise because uh, whatever, whatever game. It's the Necromancer from Diablo 4. That's right. It's a sneak peek. I'm leaking it, and I'm I'm making Diablo 4. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so this is my version of the Necromancer, and you can see here that uh, I actually. So the, so actually, a little backstory again. Um, the picture on the right is the original drawing I drew. I I try coloring, and I, it's it's a, again. I think I. I did better than I thought I would with coloring, but it's still not very good. Um, I, I do like the idea of like this kind of war paint blood on the skulls and on his face. Um, however, I, I I should just stick to sketching because I, I enjoy it more and also I uh, don't want to finish. I don't want to color. <laughs> basically, that's basically it. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the drawing and uh, some the features I added here that I thought would be really cool to see on a necromancer. This guy is kind of like a weapons necromancer, I guess, um, which is something you don't really see. Uh, so, you know, you could summon like the undead and the skeletons, whatever. But I kind of focused more on, uh, as you can see on this right arm shoulder, there's it's almost a, a, a whole half a human. A whole half. Uh, you see his rib cage protecting the upper arm of the, the necromancer. And then he has two arms. Um, and one of them is holding a dagger. And the idea is that um, this, this skeleton is actually like animated. And can maybe you could block an attack. Or maybe it could poison dagger. People who are close range or behind the necromancer or whatever. Um, but I like that idea of this third uh, skeletal arm uh, for the necromancer. I thought that was would be kind of neat. To, to see you could make some cool mechanics or dynamics to this character on the other arm you see these are actually uh, it's probably not too obvious but um, skeletal hands and fingers uh, across his forearm and they're actually animated as well so they're like moving around and you can hear like clicking and whatever um, I thought that was kind of cool uh, <laughs> he's got like these skeletal arms wrapping around his torso to protect him and then of course uh, this uh, his cape the things that are draping around him is uh, human skin can't be complete without human skin I, I apologize guys this is a lot more gruesome than probably what you're used to this is this is the dark artist of who I am really accept me for who I am uh, but uh, yeah uh, yeah so there's this human skin <laughs> Uh, draping around uh, him and kind of kind of engulfing him in his craft, his dark craft of necromancy. Uh, and of course, the classic scythe. Um, I kind of like the first one I drew better, the the colored one, um, kind of. But uh, I also uh, I kind of like the other one as well, the blade. Anyway, anyway, 
Um, so the idea here, though, is that the Necromancers kind of also um, overflow into spirit uh, work uh, because he has like bone spirit and stuff, and it's kind of like haunting type uh, magic as well, um, curses and stuff. But uh, so I thought it would be kind of cool. You notice he's not holding his scythe in the, the left picture. Uh, it's actually floating behind him because I kind of drew these spirits. They look terrible. They're like cloaked ring wraith things. It looks awful. I, that's why I didn't really actually draw them. But I thought it would be cool that maybe he could animate his weapons as well. Like spirits possess his weapons. So maybe he, his, his primary weapon could float around him if he used a certain spell for a bit or something. Or spin in an area um, and cut people there. Or, or this would be really cool. When, like, for example, weapons fall to the ground, um, you kill demons and they, the weapons drop. And then you could use a spell on that weapon that's on the ground, and then it floats. Kind of like the floating scimitars in, in Diablo 2. I almost said Starcraft 2. Uh, the scimitars that it would attack you. Um, he could do that to weapons on the ground, possess them with these, these uh, spirits. Um, and then it would, like, uh, kill or attack anyone in that area. Anyway, so just some, some ideas that I, I love to think about uh, as well. Um, uh, again, this is just stuff I, I really have a passion for, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you want to see more pictures uh, done in my old style. Again, it, it, nothing will ever be animated in my old style because obviously it's way too complex. And we're always going to do the Carbot style for our cartoons. Uh, maybe one day we'll make one cartoon that's different. I don't know. Anyway, but uh, if you want to see more drawings, illustrations, uh, speed drawings of this style, please let me know. I really want to practice it. If you have any ideas would you, uh, what you would like to see me draw, please let me know as well. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll leave a link in uh, the description below for the picture if you want to get a closer look at it. Like a, a uh, PNG file or something. But... Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little drawing here in this video. Uh, but in other news, BlizzCon this week, this weekend, and I will be at BlizzCon. I'm going actually on Wednesday. Me, uh, Justine, my wife, WifeBot, and my brother, uh, Sam, who is the audio editor for the uh, episodes, we will be there. So don't be shy. Say hi if you see uh, us. And if you don't know what I look like, uh, you can, there's some pictures in the, uh, maybe I'll put a picture up, I don't know. But there's some pictures in uh, our past videos that you can see on our gaming channel as well. So come say hi. I do have a panel at BlizzCon. I've been honored with a panel. I should make another video just to let people know that uh, I will have a panel there. Uh, there'll be a Q&A, so please make it, make, make it look like I'm popular and come to the panel and ask me questions uh, so there's no awkward silences. Uh, I need you guys there for your support, so please do. Now, it's on the second floor. I forget where exactly, but just look at the map if you're at BlizzCon and you can check it out. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you there. And uh, like and subscribe and do all the YouTube, the, the YouTube stuff. Uh, thanks for watching.